got my pants Gary Christie Got my mama and dad too Got my brothers Dylan and Ethan My grandma and my cousins too It's the What's up guys? Um, so in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the iOS 14 update. Um, I'm going to show you some features and also going to show you how to do a couple things that I figured out. Um, we have a translate button now where you can translate from, you know, from English to like Spanish and French and all that other good stuff. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. I played around with it a little bit last night. <clears throat> Love. see here you can do you know all the different kind of um languages and stuff love okay and now i'm just going to show you some things that they have on this um, update, which are pretty cool, um, <clears throat> this is how your pictures look now, it's kind of, it's a little bit different than it used to be, um, but then, yeah, I don't, I don't know why I went to that, sorry guys, um, this is what your, you know, widget page looks like, and, you know, of course, you can pick what widgets you want on that page, you know, what's important to you. <clears throat> but so that's pretty cool um then if you keep scrolling to the um to the left you'll come to your app library which is really awesome um you just have all your apps um you know organized into these different folders and stuff um, which is pretty cool, because if you want to customize your home screen, which I will talk about, uh, later on in this video, um, you can move stuff to your app library, and it won't be deleted off your phone, it'll just be off of your, like, your main screen. Um, you can also go to your text messages, and you're able to <clears throat> respond to a certain text, um, like, well, I thought I had done it here. It might be in the next part. Please. Amor. Amor. Yeah, so here it is right here. Um, like, if you click on the message, it'll say reply. And you can reply to an earlier message, which is really cool. Um, and then it'll say, you know, on the message that you replied to that particular comment. I say comment, I meant message. But anyway, um, if you go to um, your accessibility um and you hit on like triple i mean double tap or something like it, it, you can set your phone up where you can take like a screenshot if you hit the back of your phone which i've done that um when i hit the back of my phone twice it takes a screenshot which is pretty cool Okay, so the next step that I'm doing here, you're going to have to go get a app called Widget Smith. And with it, you're going to be able to um, add all these cool little um, calendars. And you can add pictures to your phone. Um, 
but yeah, you you'll have to download Widgetsmith. Um, it's not hard to understand it, you know, like, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I do explain it in this video, too. Okay, you're gonna need to go to Widget Smith for this, um, and you, you scroll down, and it's gonna say photo. You click on that, and <clears throat> you're able to pick, you know, from one of your photos. Um, you can pick any kind of photo you want. I chose my daughter. Um, So that's the selected photo. And then you save that. And it'll. And then you go back down to small, well, to medium widget. And then you can add that to your home screen like that. And this is what I was talking about, how you can add apps to your um, app library and you don't have to uh, delete them. They'll still be on your phone. They just won't be on your page like that. You have to go, you know, all the way to the left and they'll be in your, um, in your app library. Hey, this right here is basically just showing you what um, the iOS update involves and what it has. Um, the features and stuff like that. Um, so I thought I would include this here so you can guys can, you know, kind of get a better idea of what you can expect. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can um, add a picture for your apps. You go to uh, Shortcuts, and then you go to Scripting, then you go to Open App, then you're going to pick whatever app you want, like I chose Twitter, and you're going to go up and hit in the top right hand corner, then you're going to put Add to Home Screen, then you go down there, and you're going to, whatever, you know, the app is, you're going to put that then you'll put choose photo and then that's going to allow you to choose any kind of photo that you want to be your twitter 
sorry it takes me a minute to decide which photo I want to use. <clears throat> okay, now you're going to choose your photo. And then you're going to hit save. And then it'll say it's added to your home screen. Now, if you're like me, you know, you can move it wherever you want to. Um, just like normal. Um, you, you, you know, you go to edit home screen and then you put it wherever you want to. Um, if you're like me and you want to hide your original Twitter, um, icon, all you have to do is hold it down, go to edit home screen, and then it'll have a little minus up there. You hit the minus and it'll say move to app library. This way, it's still on your phone, but it's not on your home screen. Um, now when you're watching a video, uh, or a movie or something, you're still able to do other things on your phone. You can, uh, click out of the app, and the little, uh, screen will be at the bottom of your screen or whatever, and you can move it and stuff. Uh, the reason it's not showing up here is because I was screen recording, so it wasn't gonna work, but, um, it does work, and you're able to, you know, still watch your movie and do other things on your phone. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.